All right, I'm going to keep going over uh, this quiz practice question. We had coded up employee with uh, the different methods and data, and I also had get and set methods for each one of these. And uh, now we want to talk about sales clerk and specifically how to make it interact with the data up here in employee. Because remember, these data is all private. Right, the data is all private, so if you want to alter these or whatever, you have to do it through constructors and methods. Okay, so I'm going to go into Sales Clerk and uh, kind of code this up with you. This might be good for you to do, even if you don't have an employee class, um, to practice doing it. Um, like I said, I should, I'll post the employee class on the website too, so if you want to access it that way. But anyways, first thing is, well, what do we need right here? So I'll give you a second to think about this, if you want this to be a subclass. All right, so the answer is we need to have extends, which class we want to extend. And you can always do just one in Java. So we're going to extend the employee class. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing as before. So we're going to do our, our data, uh, which is our instance variables. Help affect Mr. West Puppet's bell, right? And this is never true. So uh, we're going to do a private double, no, int, I think. And it's how many weekend hours we work, right? So and I'm going to set up my constructor. Constructor. OK, so again, uh, it's got to be public. And it's got to match the name exactly, the class name exactly. So it's like kind of like a specialized method again. Um, that's public and matches this class name. All right, and I'm going to pass in um, actually the same two things as I did up here, literally the same two things. Okay, so I want to set all of the variables. So these three variables here, name hours and paper hour, and then also the weekend hours. Okay, so I'm going to leave this to you. If that's what the heading looks like, how would you set all the variables, right? And so you can kind of, I'll do a split screen here. It's a little hard to see all of it here, but I want to do, how would I do this sales quick uh, constructor right here? All right, so the answer is um, I'm going to call the superclass constructor, passing up the name in, and what did I call the other one? Pay per hour in. The pay per hour in. Okay, so that's going to call this constructor right here, which will set. Um, oh, shoot, they did it differently. Ah. Okay, so I changed it back to how it normally looks here. So this constructor will just set the name, paper hours, and then sets the hours to be zero, representing that they haven't worked any hours yet. Okay, so the only other line we need then is we want to set these weekend hours, and so they haven't worked any weekend hours either. So I'm just going to set that to be zero instead of passing it in. Okay, so that'll have set all of these three variables by calling super, and then I'll set this one. Um, by just setting it manually in the constructor. Okay, so uh, we got the data constructor set up. So now I want to do a, a pay raise. Okay, so I want to change this pay per hours by whatever this amount is right there. So this would be a really good method for you to try because again, we don't have direct access to this pay per hours. So we got to use the methods we have up an employee. Okay, so you'll need to reference all the employee methods, um, and you know I can try to get them all on here, but uh, it might be easier just for you to to have it loaded in your Eclipse also. So hopefully you've tried it before watching this answer. So I'm going to do public, and I think it'd just be void uh, because I don't have to return anything. I just want to raise the pay. So essentially all I want to do is change this pay per hour variable, okay, by an amount. So I'm going to have an amount here, okay. And so I think probably the best way to do it is to call this get and set pay. So I could do like double current pay would be just the super class that get pay per hour. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this into one now again so you can see it. But um, I would just... That's their current pay, and then I would change it. So I'd say current pay plus equals the amount. So that'll raise it by whatever the amount variable is. Okay, and then I have to reset it. So I would have to call super.set pay per hour to be 
current pay because current pay got changed by amount and that would that would do it okay so that's kind of tricky because you got to use the get and set method uh, from the super class so I just I super dot right because we don't have direct access to this variable right it's private so we have to use the public methods to access and change it all right um let's see what was the final thing i forget okay so oh yeah so i want to overwrite the pay okay because now they're going to get paid for their weekend hours and they're they're going to get 50 cents more per hour for a weekend hour than their regular hours Okay, so why I like this method again is you have to use some of this data. We need this hours and this pay per hours. Um, so we have to use the data from up here. So we're going to have to use those super class methods again to get out, to figure out the pay. Okay, so let's go back into employee quick and look what we have. So we have a pay method that just returns the hours times the pay per hour. Okay, and the, the, this I should say would be the regular hours, they're non-weekend hours. Okay, so we're going to overwrite this method down here in sales clerk. So I'm going to take this same heading and I'm going to overwrite it. So I'm going to say overwrite from superclass. Okay, so I want to see if you can figure out we want to return the pay amount. How can I use the, the stuff from up here? So again, hopefully you've watched before seeing this solution. So I'm going to make one called total pay, and I'm going to start it off at the super classes pay method. Okay, so I'm just going to run that, that super classes pay method. Okay, and then I want to add to that the weekend hours. So I'm going to do total pay plus equals the weekend hours, which is in right in this class, right? It's right up here plus uh, the pay per hour is uh, 50 cents more than that. Okay, so the pay per hour is up here in the super class, right? So I'm gonna have to call the get method and then add 50 cents to that. Okay, so when I multiply my weekend hours, I'm gonna do super that get their pay per hour and add 50 cents to that, right? And I'm gonna make sure I got parentheses so it does the add first. And then I'm going to multiply that by the weekend hours. Right? And that's the total pay. And now I just want to return total pay. Okay, and that should do it. Okay, and again, you know, we could make a main method. I think we're done now, by the way. Sorry. We're done with uh, the sales clerk class. Okay, and we could make a runner and kind of test it all that. And if, if you want to, you can. Uh, I'm going to kind of forego that step here just to kind of save time. But um, yeah, that's the idea. So again, this this class looks pretty sparse, but remember, it has all of the methods up here, right? If I was to make a new sales clerk object, right, um, it would have all of those those methods from both the this class and the employee class up here. Right, because that is how the inheritance works. It all flows down into sales class. All right, that is all. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, thanks for watching.